It's a BLT with a twist, courtesy of Chef Mark Zimmer from The Great Impasta. We're getting rid of the bread and adding chicken and homemade mayonnaise to make a wonderful salad. And Mark, homemade good to mayonnaise, have you with us. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Thanks, John. Thank, like, thank you for letting me be here. Um, now you, you can have it without the bread, but it's great on a roll. Also, oh, yeah. but I'm okay. not going to discourage anybody from doing because that. Because you're into the uh, well, and a lot of how you've lost your weight is the low carb. Yes, of, of course, tomatoes have some carb, but it's it's a good carbohydrate. It's mm -hmm. not that high on the glycemic index, and it's actually a fruit, so you know right. you have to watch your tomatoes. But still, what it is, um, I might as well tell you the recipe. Write it down. It's a great recipe for the summer, for any time. It's all year round. I mean, mm -hmm. there's tomatoes, there's romaine everywhere. One head of ro romaine. Mm -hmm. um, I, d I diced it, I, I just chopped up coarsely, and one, tom well, one pound of tomatoes, and I have one tomato already in there, All and right. we're going to dice up one. And then one pound of cooked chicken breast. Now, this year I grilled yesterday. That's nice. And um, we're closed at the Great Impasta for this week. Uh, we'll be opening next week. We're totally doing retiling, everything. Wow. And I had to do everything at home. You so here I'm making the bacon. I'm making, and my, my wife is yelling at me. She says, oh, one more time. I tell you, one more time you mess up this house, I'm leaving. <laughs> I said, well, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> but, but anyway, I like to take out the pulp, the core of the tomato. I get the juice out and the seeds and coarsely chop it up. It's like one inch pieces. All right. And <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> no, right, that, Dean. Dean. Still laughing. <laughs> but um, what we could do also, I'm going to make a homemade mayonnaise while you guys help me out with this. Yeah. Do, Kelly, if you could just take that bacon, see how it's nice and crisp. Mm -hmm. And what you could do is just chop it up a little. Not even chop it up. Just do it with your hands. Just break, break it, it up. up. Yeah, I can see it nice and crisp. Give me a piece. It is. It was crisper this oh, you're morning gonna eat when, it? when I made it. Yeah. And John, you see the size of the dice? I'm gonna, John's going to dice up the chicken about one inch dice pieces. No. It's been cleaned. No it's been it's been deep. Don't worry about you. I'm worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch those fingers, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm going to start the, the may homemade mayonnaise. It's nothing like homemade mayonnaise. I started with four eggs, a little bit of white vinegar, about an ounce. And I like to make a key lime a key lime mayonnaise. So I'm going to put about three ounces of key lime juice in. That'll stabilize that the egg. Mm -hmm. And No, those two, I think. There we go. Now what you have to do is get a cup and a half of canola, canola oil and a cup, of half, a cup and a half of corn oil and drizzle them both in. And it'll make a nice mayonnaise. What I'm also going to do here, I forgot the salt. I got to put a little salt in, about a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper. White pepper is fine. I got dark pepper. I like to I show you. I can't watch them cut at the same mm -hmm. time. I'm not as talented mm -hmm. as Mark. And here's a cup and a half of the canola oil. Drizzle it in nice and slow, and all of a sudden, just watch it become nice What happens and when you don't thick. drizzle it in slow? Then it becomes a, a gob. Yeah. All right. Then see how drizzle nice it now? Look slow. at this now. Look at that. Well, a little more. Yeah. How are we doing here, Mark? You're doing fine. Mix all, all How am I doing on time? You're not even looking. You're fine on time. I, I caught you. I caught yeah. you. No, I'm looking. There we go. And now. really, when you have homemade mayonnaise, you won't go back to the store bought. Oh, it's wonderful. But if you don't have it, it's no big deal. Yeah. Good old mayonnaise. Is, Hellman's is fine. Yeah, we've been screaming here. Yeah. we go. Look at this. <laughs> you want to taste it? Good old fashioned mayonnaise. Now, you could add different <laughs> herbs to this. <laughs> <laughs> you could do tarot, fresh tarragon if you like, or, or sherry. Yeah. 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 Better motor, Mark. Just take a little. Okay, taste that, man. It's okay. wonderful. What we're going to do is put about a cup of it. All right, hold on. Ooh, that, that, yeah, that doesn't taste like a store bought kind. That's good. Right in there, and that's good. mix it right up. Oh, that's that's about a cup we did. And how does it look? How are we doing in time? Uh, we're, we're just about out. out. We're getting a big wrap. Put all the chicken in. You put the chicken, put chicken on top in there. Of there. Put it right in there. There you go. Write us for the recipe. If you like it, it's easy. BLT with chicken salad and homemade mayonnaise. Send your self-addressed stamped envelope to Great Impasta here at the station. We'll get it out to you. Oh, thanks. Yum, thanks, this looks John. great. It's a wonderful dish. Fish feeds about six to eight people. Good great. deal. We'll see you thanks. next time. Take care. See you too. We Bye -bye. gotta go. Bye.